New details this morning about the woman who is accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct from 35 years ago. So how might this impact this week's vote in the Senate Judiciary Committee? Reporter John Lawrence has our preview. President Trump's pick for the Supreme Court is facing a new hurdle. Judge Brett Kavanaugh is accused of sexual assault in an incident that allegedly happened more than 30 years ago. For too long, when women have made serious allegations of abuse, they have been ignored. Christine Ford, a professor from California, told the Washington Post that Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed while trying to undress her and grinding his body against hers. Ford went on to say that she thought Kavanaugh might inadvertently kill me. Kavanaugh issued a statement saying, quote, I categorically and unequivocally deny this allegation. I did not do this back in high school or at any time. He was very emphatic in den his denial. Do you believe Thank the accuser? I don't know enough to, to make a judgment at this point. Senator Grassley must postpone the vote on Judge Kavanaugh until at the very least these very serious and credible allegations are thoroughly investigated. Although some senators, including at least one Republican, are calling for a postponement, Grassley, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, says he plans to have the Kavanaugh vote on Thursday as originally scheduled. Once the senators have a chance to talk to both uh, uh, Christine Ford and Judge Brett Kavanaugh, I think the situation might clarify itself better. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Well, at this point, no comment from the White House beyond repeating Kavanaugh's denial.